Hello my friends, I present a small terrible, dangerous and harmless inhabitant of our planet, a spider. Spiders are arthropod animals, which represent the class of spider-like creatures. To date, there are more than 40,000 species of spiders. Spiders periodically shed their chitinous shells, in place of which new ones grow over time. 95% of spiders living in homes or apartments have never been outside. The spider web is capable of stretching to more than four times its original shape. Spiders' brains take up about 25% of their total body volume. The spider's muscles are inside the skeleton. Spiders eat their cobwebs, and from the recycled cobwebs, they produce them again. Tarantulas get their name after the Italian city of Taranto, in the vicinity of which they live. In just two days, the tarantula is able to turn the body of a small mouse into liquid using its venom, leaving only the skin and bones. Spiders do not stick to their own web thanks to the hairs on their legs. Each species of peacock spider has its own ritual dances. Among the spiders, there are both completely blind species and those with excellent vision. If you compare one to one, the web is five times stronger than steel. Spiders live on all continents except Antarctica. Some species of SPI durs are able to move quickly on the surface of water. The most aggressive species of spider is the banana spider. It often attacks everyone it sees, including humans, and its venom is deadly. Spiders make love with the help of protrusions located on the head. All spiders have four pairs of legs, with six knees on each leg. Spiders cannot chew because they have no teeth. They inject digestive juice into their prey and then suck it out. Spiders can stay underwater for long periods of time, falling into a kind of coma. Blood replacement for predators is hemolymph, which turns light blue in the air. The venom of the female black widow is 15 times more dangerous than that of the rattlesnake. Since spiders have no ears, they hear sounds with the help of hairs growing on their legs. Male spiders in almost all species are smaller than females, and are usually more colorful and brightly colored. Spiders, make a small net, which they then cast on their prey. Spiders are predators. Their diet includes insects and small animals. Spiders are afraid of ants because of their formic acid. One species of spider that lives in Hawaii has a smiley face coloring on its back. The vast majority of spider species lead solitary lives. Today, the possible use of spider venom for medical purposes to treat arrhythmia, Alzheimer's disease, stroke and erectile dysfunction is being investigated. Arachnophobia is one of the most common phobias in humans. Spiders do not stick to their own web thanks to the hairs on their legs. A spider web is composed of more than 50% protein. It is always incredibly strong, and can withstand stretching to 200-400% to of its original length. The only soft part of spider's body is abdomen, and the rest is covered with hard exoskeleton. Therefore, depending on the species, spiders molt from 5 to 10 times during their life, as they grow and no longer fit into their femur skeleton. If too dangerous prey like a hornet gets caught in the web, the small spider will probably rip the web off so as to let the prey fly away. This is safer for him than trying to wrap his prey in a cocoon, it can fight back. According to the calculations of the French scientists, in the moderately warm climate SPI durs exterminate about 400 million insects per one hectare per year. In the Arctic climate, harsh and cold, there are about 1,000 species of spiders. Apparently, many of them are not afraid of cold. Representatives of the species Euphrys omni superstase, belonging to the skunk spiders, are found even high in the mountains, where most people simply cannot survive without an oxygen mask. Once a specimen of Euphrys omnisuperstase was even found near the summit of Mount Everest. The jumping spiders got their name because many of them move by jumping. And in one jump they can overcome a distance exceeding the length of their body by several tens of times. These are very interesting and beautiful animals, about which we can talk a lot in a long time, as there are hundreds of times more than people, subscribe and it will be even more interesting.